Madden Football is the home of the Super Bowl, and this historic matchup is brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Niners and the Chiefs coming up next. We are pleased, as always, to be bringing you coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. Tonight, it is all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy, as it'll be the AFC champion, Kansas City Chiefs, taking on the NFC champions, the San Francisco 49ers. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Uh, Charles, we don't like to throw around the word dynasty loosely, but for the Chiefs, it applies. I mean, they're looking for their third title now in five years. And with the way this league is configured now, it absolutely applies. I think you're totally on target. Remember, they lost a the Super Bowl in there, too. So to be back for the fourth time in five years in today's NFL, that's pretty incredible. And the final act of the 2023 season is at hand. What a spectacle in Las Vegas. We're off in Super Bowl 58. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Time to see what Patrick Mahomes can do here with his first possession. The quarterback out of Texas Tech getting set to lead this KC Chiefs offense. And no doubt he's living out a dream right now. He's had dating back to his first days of playing football as a kid. But he certainly can't get lost in the moment right now. There's still a Super Bowl to be played. And his offense, they're looking to him to be their leader. You can take it all in when it's over. Right now, you've got the biggest game of your life to win. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far at second down. Well, as you can see, they're not operating at full health today, partner. That's been a big story the last couple of weeks. But the bottom line, their record is solid, and you know that this is still a very dangerous team, even with those guys missing. What they have shown us throughout this season is that this team has stayed focused and some injuries, they just have to derail the momentum they've built up all season long. They continue to go out there and play and get their best performances. They'll try for the first with Pacheco. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. They give him seven yards on the play, and they do pick up the conversion on third down. On first down, they go back to Pacheco. And some nifty running here as he'll take this across midfield and down to the 47. Give him 13 yards there and a Kansas City first down. Throwing now is Mahomes. And that'll be caught by Tony. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Second down and a little more than a yard here. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. Looking sideline incomplete. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. Mahomes to throw on third and one. And incomplete here to bring up fourth down as the rookie couldn't haul it in. He was out there waving his arms, saying, throw it here, dropped it, not a good look. Well, all I can do is just look at him with contempt on that one. As a defensive back, I'm saying, not as an announcer. <laughs> just like, really? A little bit of a diva look, isn't it? Yeah, very much so, because I think what happens is he just had too much time to think. He's wide open now. Here comes the ball, and he doesn't concentrate drops it. The Chiefs tried it, but they're turned away on fourth down. And this defense delivers a turnover on downs on the very first drive of the afternoon. So here's the first drive now for the 49ers. Leading them out, someone who took the league by storm last year is the most famous Mr. Irrelevant ever from Iowa State. It's Brock Purdy. And there are a lot of quarterbacks who had terrific careers. Think about guys like Phillip Rivers, Randall Cunningham, Dan Fouts, Warren Moon. But they never got to a Super Bowl. Yet here he is in his second NFL season already getting his chance. I mean, harken back to Dan Marino, another superstar, made it in his second year, lost the game, and never made it back again. Another run with McCaffrey on second down. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. 
You look at this Super Bowl, the second appearance for this head coach. The first one did not go as planned, as we all know, but what do you think he's learned from that first go around? He learned how much it hurts to lose, and that's what you hear from coaches so often. They don't remember the wins as much as they remember the losses. You can talk about the media, the scrutiny, the hoopla, but once you've had to shake a head coach's hand and jog off the field and know you have to face the media, face your fans, face your home life, knowing that you've lost the Super Bowl, that hurts big time, and you're going to do everything possible to try and prevent that from happening again. And he'll take it across the 50 and into Chief territory. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. And the line to gain here is the 37 on third down. Purdy now to throw. And he's taken down. The Chiefs sack. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. And there they bring pressure from the inside, and they get home. Yeah, hard to block everyone, isn't it? And on this play, <laughs> someone did not get blocked. He's the one who got home. On fourth down, the Niners trot out Mitch Wisnowski to punt the football. They'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And the punt over the side in the air, and the spot will be inside the 35. KC's offense ready to take over. A kind of a lucky break on the prior drive, Charles. The turnover on downs that the offense had didn't come back to bite them after the other side, their defense came through, was able to hold them without any points. I would agree with you, partner. A little bit of a lucky break indeed, but you know what they'd say to us. No luck, just pure skill. We rose to the challenge, and we didn't permit a score. That's how we roll. Well, I'm kind of curious, Charles, if they might temper their aggressiveness now offensively if they get in that fourth down spot again. Yeah, one would think so, but maybe because they held them, they might go for it again. And if there was a lane there, it closed up quickly as he stopped for no gain. Second down. Mahomes to throw on second down. And Mahomes can't get away, and down he goes. Nick Bosa. It'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop him. That brings us to the end of one in Super Bowl 58. Much more to come from Las Vegas after this. Nothing, nothing, our score. The NFL on EA Sports continues right after this message. Going to need better protection here. Third and long following the sack for Mahomes and company. Well, this one complete. It's Rasheed Rice. And to the 49-yard line, but no further. And obviously, he is well short of the first. There's another example where defensive coaches constantly preach not allowing any run after the catch. They gave up a few more yards than they wanted to, but they were able to get him down quickly and force a fourth down. And no one there to stop it. Hits him the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. Back out there comes the 49ers offense ready for their second drive. They've been playing the field position game thus far. No score. Second quarter as they come up on first and ten. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back. Tries to hit Jennings, and it's intercepted. Picked off by LeJarrius Sneed. And that's a great example of ball skills right there, partner. You and I do a lot of games, and I can't tell you how many guys look to run with the football before they've intercepted it. So that's a nice job of focusing on the task at hand and coming away with the interception. Now the Chiefs offense, they get ready to head on the field. They'll have very good starting field position here after the turnover as they search for the first points of the ball game. So after the INT, here's Mahomes. Open on the left side. This is Valdez Scantling. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed. Because you hit a guy in the run like that, the offense can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Back to back good plays. Have him on the move on first down. To throw, it's Mahomes. That'll be caught by Rice. 
It'll go as a gain of four, and it's second down. Mahomes to throw once more. Got an open man. It's Valdez Scantling. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. The Chiefs on third down. Just one for three thus far. This time it's third and three. Looking to throw is Mahomes. He'll check this one down to Pacheco. And the Chiefs are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. It's been all passing all the time on this drive. Five for five, and now first and goal. Feels like a case of until they stop us, we might as well keep running the offense that we like to run. Don't change up and do something different just because you think you need to. A chance for the first score of this Super Bowl. Here's first and goal. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. And that's caught. It's Kelsey. Touchdown, Kansas City. Eight yards on the touchdown pass. And the Chiefs post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. What a great weapon. So often, such a big mismatch. And there's no route he can't run. You name it, he's going to do it. And he's a matchup nightmare. And we remember, of course, all scoring plays need to be verified upstairs. And I think they're going to at least take a look at this. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds. And obviously, a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. Extra point by Butker is on target, and that makes the score 7-0. Ray Ray McLeod to return. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. San Francisco set to go on offense once more. Still in the first half, but this offense has struggled. Haven't really been able to get anything going, not only in the points category, but in the yards category. Let's we'll see if they can do better here on this drive. And somehow he's going to get a yard out of this as he fought through that first contact. It's second down. Two minutes on the clock in the second quarter of this Super Bowl. Second and nine. Purdy looking to throw. His throw incomplete. Well, this is a half for not just the coverage, but the entire defense is setting the tone in this game. Purdy with it on third and long. In trouble here, and down he goes. Back at the eight-yard line. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Hardman on the return. Patrick Mahomes on his way out for their next drive. Last series, the ball never hit the ground. Six to six, touchdown pass. So whatever he did then, do it again, right? Yeah, it reminds me a lot of when I watched the best quarterbacks throw seven on seven, or even routes versus air. They're accurate. The receivers catch it. The ball never touches the ground. Or if you want to take it to basketball, a well-executed fast break, right? Pass, 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 finish at the rim, basket. Yeah, ball never hits the ground there either. Just need a yard here, second and one. Mahomes now to throw. This one to the right, caught by Valdez Scantling. Mahomes to MVS there for the Kansas City first. Now back to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. I see the surprise in the face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. On play action, it's Mahomes. Open man. 
it's the tight end, Kelsey. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Good job there of getting his tight end involved because he lines up on the right side of the formation, just works his way across the field. I really like how they were in sync on that one. He spotted the open gap in the zone, and his quarterback found him, and they get a first down. Now it's Mahomes again. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Kadarius Toney, a five-yard touchdown. And the Chiefs continue to look good here in the first half of this Super Bowl. And that's certainly an important score right there because they gave themselves a two-score cushion heading towards halftime. Now you got to force the other team out of their comfort zone, and it changes the way you approach the second half as well. How you want to do things on offense, and your defense feels much better too, having that lead. Extra point by Butker, and it's now 14 to nothing. Five plays there on that drive. And it's Kadarius Toney who catches things with a touchdown reception. McLeod now on the return. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. The Niners ready to go on offense for the final time in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. So we've come upon halftime in the big one, the Super Bowl. As we send you to our EA studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. What a season this has been. Hard to believe it ends tonight. As we'll get back to you guys for the second half of this Super Bowl in just a moment. Right, in the first coach, half, we saw some strong play of Chiefs quarterback Patrick quarter Mahomes. He came on after a slow start to fire two second quarter touchdown passes and give his guys the lead at the end right of the mission. goal line. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. The 49er offense set to go to begin quarter number three. And right now, their chances of hoisting that Lombardi trophy not looking too great, but perhaps that long halftime, maybe it did them a world of good. But if there's ever a chance to regroup, it's in this game, right? Because you do have that long halftime, a chance to really assess things and maybe make some changes and true adjustments. They played great all year long. That's the worst first half of the season for them. They're hoping to put it behind them and come out punching here in the second half. This is Samuel. And not a whole lot doing there, so he'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. But when you go from second to four to third and three, that just tells you who won that battle on the last play, huh? Yeah, first round went to the offense, second round the defense. Got a man, that's Ayu. And he is going to have a 49ers first down. It won't be by much. He needed three, and he got three, barely. But the mark shows first down. Purdy. This one caught by Kittle. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A good pickup there, 21 yards. A couple of first downs right in succession, and this is an offense that can really use a good drive, and they're off to a fast start here. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and 10. Purdy will set up to throw it here. Again to the big tight end, George Kittle. And he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. Ball on the 40 now. Here's second and two. McCaffrey running up the middle. And some room to work. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. 46 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. 
third quarter, Super Bowl 58. Here's a second and 10 now. The throwing here, Purdy. They'll get this into the hands of Ayu. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. So third and inches, and this will be the ninth play of the drive. They'll try and run for it. This is use check. And he gets the first down yardage he needs before he's brought down at the six. Give him the third down conversion. Five yards on the play. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll try to run with McCaffrey. And he's going to get him about three yards closer. He's down to about the two. This is a critical sequence here for this offense. Things really haven't gone their way so far. This could be their chance to get back into it. And they've got to find a way to punch this ball in. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He lost two there. And it's third down. Now Purdy. That'll be caught by Ayu. Touchdown 49ers. Four yards on the touchdown grab. And the 49ers are on the board here in this Super Bowl. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there was an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard, you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. Moody good with the extra point, And that'll make our score 14-7. to seven. So that drive, 12 plays in length. And it was Brandon Ayuk capping it off with the touchdown reception. So after the main field goal by Moody, he's back out to kick this one away. McCole Hardman to return it from his end zone. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. So here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. Charles, they still have the lead despite their defense giving up a touchdown on the previous possession. And even though they have that lead, it feels like a back-and-forth ball game where to try to get momentum back, maybe they need at least three here on this drive. I think you're right about that, Brandon, because your game plan doesn't change. But I do believe your urgency does because of the last score that went against your team. So what you want to do now is have your own drive and try and make sure that that momentum stays in your camp fighting through and he's got space and he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter we are through three quarters of play here from Allegiant Stadium in Super Bowl 58 you're watching the NFL on EA Sports and we're back in the Super Bowl time to decide who gets to hoist that Lombardi trophy as we begin the fourth and final quarter of action Mahomes now on first down. That's complete to Tony. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. And that's going to be a Chiefs first down as he's got this up to the 45-yard line. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there. And on that play, I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing in a situation where they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about it? Well, Mahomes can't get away, and down he goes. Nick Bosa able to drop in that time for his second sack of the evening. So after the sack, they'll come up on a still manageable second and 13. Here's Mahomes to throw. And he's going to go down again. Nick Bosa bringing the pressure yet again. That's his third sack here tonight. And that's his third sack, and that ties the Super Bowl record. Makes me think of my old college teammate, Reggie White. He had three with the Green Bay Packers in Super Bowl 31. Darnell Dockett of Arizona, Super Bowl 43. And Coney Ealy. 
three sacks for the Panthers against Denver in Super Bowl 50. All those sacks, they've only been an official record since Super Bowl 17. I know it's believed that L.C. Greenwood unofficially had four way back in Super Bowl 10. We're in those golden high tops as well. Mahomes, and that is too far out in front of his intended target, incomplete. Critical play in this football game because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. A 41-yard punt there with no return, and the Niners will go on offense first and 10. Purdy going to lead the 49ers to the line first and 10 at their own 27. They'll bring one of the tight ends in motion right here. They start on the ground with McCaffrey. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it. And be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves them with a third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. They're able to convert with a gain of four. No partner, none of these runs individually have added up to a whole lot. Now three plays, all three short runs, but together a first down. Yeah, it's amazing how the narrative changes when you string them together. Pretty slow, pulled in by Kittle. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. Purdy to throw. That's to McCaffrey complete. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. They come up now on second and two. To throw is Purdy. Quick hitter here, it's complete. Shrugs the tackle. Nice. And he's going to get out of bounds with the first down. So that's going to double their pleasure for sure. They get the first and save a timeout. Here's Purdy. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he could not reel it in. Under 90 seconds to go. Here's second and 10. Here's Purdy to throw. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Now Samuel. Now that play is blown up. Losing yardage back at the 35. Here we go. This is fourth down. Throwing. Purdy. Break in the middle of the field, he's got a man complete. And he's going to have the Niners first down on what will be a big play there on fourth and long. And there's a chance for them to end the game. An incompletion, it's probably over. But how big was that one, though, to keep this game going? That's the conversion of the game right now, no doubt. Purdy's throw taken in by Samuel. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts. As the clock will stop with 35 seconds left to go. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Purdy to throw. The throw here right sideline falls incomplete. What a great sequence by this defense so far. They've given him nowhere to go with the football. And they just have to make it stand up one more time because it appears that they've got their number can they not have a slip up here and allow the touchdown? Pass taken in by his big tight end. So now with six seconds remaining, we get a timeout on the field. Back to throw. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. Second down, goal to go. 
Purdy with one final shot here. And this is incomplete. So no miracles here on the final play. And this ball game is over. And the Kansas City Chiefs are the Super Bowl champions. And when this moment comes, I think you look back at all the blood, sweat, and tears, the offseason, the workouts, training camp, week one, two, three, all building up now to say you're a Super Bowl champion. It's worth it. It certainly is, and rarely do we have a team that hoists the Lombardi Trophy that didn't have their share of bumps along the way, didn't have to face some adversity in the journey. And now they get to just enjoy it and revel in it. And all offseason, They'll be signing their autographs with Super Bowl champion underneath it.